Hey, this is Paroxide and this is Blood Death Knight Guide for Socrator the Eternal. In phase 1, the main thing you need to watch out in this fight is the ability called Reverberating Blow. When Socrator hits you with this ability, you get the debuff called Shatter Defenses and that will increase the damage you will take from the next Reverberating Blow. What you want to do is solo soak it, you don't need to stack with other players, all you need to do is face him away from the raid group. For the first match you want to use your rune tap and then for the second one you want to use your icebone fortitude plus rune tap or call for external cooldown. That's how you save some trouble from your healers. After you take the hits that's when you perform the tank switch. In phase 2 one tank is going to pick up the dominators and shadow callers while the other tank is going to be in the construct and controlling the haunting souls. Interrupt Socratar as much as you can and I recommend you make an interrupt rotation for this. Your priority is to kill the dominators as they make Socratar immune to interrupts. Control the ghosts and interrupt shadow callers. Shadow callers can be dead gripped so make sure you dead grip them as much as you can. I recommend you use your anti-magic shell during apocalypse. If this guide helped you out, make sure you like, comment and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. If you want to ask anything, feel free to do so. If you want to check guides for any of the other bosses, just click the annotations. I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.